Uh, well, I hope I'm always paying most fan of the in here. Sorry, I just got out of the shower and, and you guys can't see me. Hold on. I'm also trying to make myself lunch and you guys still can't. Son of a bitch. Sorry for the language, but yeah. Sorry, I need to get up. Max, I don't have any food up here. I'm sorry, buddy. There's nothing up here. Oh my god, Max. There he goes. He's like, I can see his you can see his head poking over poking over the counter looking for food. And there's no food out right now, so. Oh no, he's just chilling in front of the fridge. Okay. Anyway, what up, fellow fanboys and fangirls? Fandom Enforcer here. And welcome back to another cart trading card unboxing. I got, and this time we got Yu Gi Oh! And another, and another Magic the Gathering Crimson Vow pack. So I'll save this for later. Right now we're going to get the uh, Legendary Duel Season 3 pack open. They had just started recently selling, like, selling these at the game shop. At the local game, at my local game shop, so. I'm trying to open it. So. Yu-Gi-Oh! Neuron is available now. I actually do have the app. It's useful, it's useful if you want to like catalog, if you want to catalog the cards that you have. If you catalog the cards you have, it also does light points and you can also look for tournaments near you that you can participate in. All right, what does it say on the back here? Yugi and Bakura are back and ready to face off once again. Legendary Duel Season 3 has over 100 of the most popular cards used by Yugi, Bakura, Jaden, Yusei, Rex, Goodwin, Yuma, Yuya, and more. Each box include each of these boxes includes two legendary Duel Season 3 packs. Each pack contains 15 common and three ultra rare cards. Ooh. One of ten secret rare variant cards. And one of several collectible dice. Oh, and these are and there's like five dot yo, check out the die. These are the and these are the dice for you to collect. Yo. I'm on a new mission here, y'all. I'm gonna go on a new freaking mission. Yeah, and so you got you got you got Yugi and Bakura, the at least the variants from involving a uh, Duelist Kingdom, Duelist Kingdom and Longword. Yo and yo, and these are like the popular. These are like the most popularly used characters, popularly used mon dual monsters in. In, in each series and there's our and there's our favorite duo dark magician and dark magician girl hmm. anyway let's, let's bust this baby open and see what we got all right we got a red dye Red dye and it has the uh shit I forgot what it is I forgot what insignia it is. Insignia. I forgot which one it is. It looks familiar though. I'm trying to remember where I I'm trying to remember what which I'm trying to remember what series it is. If you guys know what series this is, can you remind me what it is? I probably have it up there now. Because I wanna say it looks like the hero symbol, but I don't think it is. And I don't think it's 5Ds, 5, I don't think it's GX or 5Ds, heck, I don't even think it's the OG related. I think it's related to either Zexel, I think it's Zexel, related to Zexel or Arc, Arc V. I think it's Zexel, I think this is a Zexel one. So we got our die for coin, for counters and stuff. We got our packs and we got a... Uh, one super rare variant. Mystical elf. Check it. Yo, it's like a, it's a hollow. It's a hollow mystical elf white lightning card. 
Spellcaster, effect, and it's a limited edition, babe. Definitely a limited edition. When monster your opponent controls activate its effects while you control a level five or higher normal monster, quick effect. Yeah, activate quick effect. You can special summon this card from your hand, and if you do negate the effect during your opponent's battle phase, the next quick effect is you can target one normal monster in either graveyard, special summon it to your field, and if you do, all monsters your opponent controls must attack that monster this turn. If able, while you control it, you can only use each effect of Mystical Elf White Lightning once per turn. Holy shit. Guys. Now this is what this is what you would call a team up if you if a, this is what you call a probable team up. Mystical Elf and Blue Eyes White Dragon. Who do, what characters do we know has Mystical Elf and the, another one has Blue Eyes? Yeah, this is they butt heads a lot, but hey, I think it's more like I wouldn't be surprised. I wouldn't be surprised if, if Yugi and Kai and Seto were actually related in the current time in the mar in, in the present like they were back in the past when they were preset and preset and in uh feral adam all right so we got busting open the uh first first pack of the season three Checkers. Okay, we're doing bottom. We'll do bottom first. Wait, hold on. I think my I'm make I'm trying to make dinner. I'm trying not dinner. I'm trying to make lunch. Hold on. I think my water the water's going to come out. Yeah, it's about to boil. I got Okay, let's get started then. We have a continuous track called Pendulum Dimension. Yo. Arc V, Pendulum Monsters, nice. We have a special summon, so, and it's a first edition, English first edition. All right, please, I'm gonna use it. Then we have a, Preda Prime Fusion, and it's a first edition. Yeah, I think this is a. Wait, I... no. Yeah, I think this is Arcti. All right. Oh, I definitely know this one. I definitely for sure know this one because I I loved five Ds. Because we got first edition, Earth Bounty Mortal, Karayua. I think I said the name right. I think I said the name right. I'm not completely sure. If I did not, let me know. Let me know in the comments how to pronounce it correctly. We got a. We got an exit. We got an exit card. Ga 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 ga. Wait. Ga 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 Oh boy, we got a Yuya card, y'all. It's perform. It's a performer. It's performer pal. Pop her up. And it's a spell card, first edition. Ooh, here we 
go. A little throwback here with Magician's Combination into a hollow. It's a bit of a hollow, nice. Into first edition. Let's see. And it's a continuous track card. Holy shit. So, <clears throat> so we got a, uh, this is definitely a Bakura. This is definitely a Bakura kind of card because this is a first edition Necroface. Ugh. The one card that I almost had, almost had the Pharaoh, that, that almost lost the Pharaoh's soul, Pharaoh and possibly Yugi's soul as well, in Battle City. Spirit Message L. <laughs> okay, we got, okay, this is definitely one of the later later seasons of GX because we got Evil Hero, Infernal Sniper. Okay. Dogs, they have really sensitive hearing, right? All right, next one is uh, Earthbound Immortal. I, I am totally gonna, I'm totally butchering this name again, sorry. Earthbound Immortal, Wyrokosha Raska. I think I pronounced it right, I'm not sure. At least I probably pronounced it half of it right. So this is the Earthbound Immortal. Second one. Yo, this thing get this thing gave me the creeps while watching this in battles while watching while watching the anime. Dark Necrothea. Dark Necrothea. And tell me, and if you guys say this does if this and if you everyone says this card does not give anyone the creeps. You're lying. You're either lying or you're totally or you're totally into like a fiend zombie deck. Oh my god! We got this little we got the cute we got the little cute wing we got the fur we got the cute fur ball wings. We got winged Karibo! Our next card is uh Elemental Hero Honest Neos. The first edition. Dude. It's a hollow too. It's fucking dope. I actually have card slates for the my Yu-Gi-Oh cards, so I need them, but I'm gonna need to bust it out soon. Bust them out soon. You got Starving Venom Fusion Dragon. And I think this might be from Arc B. I definitely recognize this from 5Ds because uh, I would use, I'm, I have a 5Ds World, uh, 5Ds World Championship Edition, I think 2010 for my uh, DS. And I would play it 10 times because 
Come on. He's dueling while riding a motorcycle? That's freaking dope. It's freaking epic. I love it. So yeah, we got a Zinkro Chase, baby. The continuous spell card. And of course, you, you only have, if you have like, Of course, you only have to have the cards, like, basically, you gotta have Yusei's cards, Yusei kind of cards, in order to use this spell card. We got Diabound, Diabound, Diabound Colonel. Da -da -da. You good? Yeah, you're not in trouble, Tito. You're not in trouble. Don't worry. This, I'm just trying. I was just telling you, you gotta calm down, buddy. I tell you, get overexcited, you end up uh, choking on your own, choking on air. You gotta calm down, bud. It's okay. It happens a lot. It happens a lot, so we always have to tell them to calm down, or like, or at least, pat them to calm them down. Anyway, so back to the cards. We got the Trimuse Trap, Continuous Trap card that I can actually, that I can actually act as a regular card. Actually act as a monster card. It's Zoma the Spirit. And last card is, oh, this is definitely one of the later, se the later, later season of GX. Because it's a, a hero, a hero lives spell card, and of course, there were new elements of heroes to require to use it. So, <coughs> all right, last Yu Gi Oh pack. I need to catalog all my cards, that's my video neuron. And I also put the cards, put some of the cards on the sleeves. All right, let's see what we got, ready? My lunch is ready, give me another moment. Put some butter on it so it doesn't stick. And then I'll get back onto that. Okay, got the butter on. And now Continue on with the cards. Okay, we got another Zexel. Yeah, we got another Zexel, y'all. It's a uh, Do. It's Do 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 Dwarf. Go 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 Glove. Yeah, this is definitely a Yuma card. And we got a... Uh... Oh, this is freaking useful for me. If I... Okay. If I create an Earthbound Immortal deck, this card is going to be freaking useful. Because it's a field spell card called Earthbound Geoglyph. And it works for Earthbound Immortals only. 
Looks, looks, it's a special card for Earthbound Mortal, so it's dope. We got Magician of Dark Illusion. Looks like a, or more like Wraith of Dark Magician. We have another Xy card. Oh, we got no, we got a number, we got a number card, number C, number. It's a number C. It's a, it's a number alphabet one though. So, but A. Oh, this is one of the later seasons of Zex. Zexo, let's go. So we got number C15, Gimmick Puppet, Giant Hunter. We got a, we got a Continuous Ultimate Earthbound Immortal Truck card. Dude, I might be able to make an Earthbound Immortal deck and, and a freaking Magician deck out of these cards, I swear. With the other decks too. Add up and add in like, and we'll for the Sky Dragon, and we're good. We're good to make with the with the magician deck, and we got we got Yugi's deck. There we go. We got Yugi's Valsity deck right there. Well, kind of. Anyway, we got a hollow. We got another hollow of we got another hollow. It's the continuous track card of the company I showed previously, which is Magician's Combination. So we got a second one here. We got Hero Flash. The Hero Flash spell card, which of course means GX, GX card related. Development Zero. We got another Earthbound Immortal, Rasta. All right, we got, we got another Spirit Message card and it's I. So we need F and A, and then we have the word final, and then we have to get and in order to get F, we got it. It's gotta be the track cards to activate the. So it was GX. The dice. The dice is totally GX. It's I. Uh, it, I thought it wasn't the heroes. I thought because I thought I knew I saw it before. I knew I saw it before, but I couldn't remember what it was. So I psyched myself out thinking it's not a hero symbol. It fucking is. Look, look, cause I remember seeing it cause I used to have this track card. I used to have this track card back in high school. Look, it's hero signal. It's the freaking hero signal, hero, hero signal symbol. I fucking knew it. <laughs> All right. So we got hero signal, the track card. We got another evil hero. And, oh, you, need, you definitely need an evil hero monster for this one, and a level five or higher monster for this to work, as well as dark fusion, so. We got evil hero, malicious bane. It's a hollow. Looks pretty, we're evil here, it's pretty dope, looks pretty dope. We got earthbound immortal revival, spell card. We got a spell card known as Tuning. Well, it's gonna have a holograph. It's a holographic too. It looks pretty cool too. It looks pretty cool, right? Then we got another Star Invent and Fusion Dragon. We got another A Hero Lot. Uh, uh, we got another A Hero Lives. We got, oh, we got Earth Barrel Immortal. Chaku Chalula. Chalula. Uh, which is that name? I'm pretty sure, but I see that I see. I remember watching this in Five Bs. This card, your Earth Garden Morals are no freaking joke. We got another. Uh, uh, we got two other repeats: Zoom of the Spirit and Secret Chase. So that's that for the. Uh, That's it for the Yu-Gi-Oh cards. And since the store is, and since the uh, shop is offering more of these, I'm probably gonna end up getting more, buying more in the future. So, put them back in the box for them to be saved and to be sleeved. Well, I gotta remember to sleeve them later. And now, we do 
the Cruise of Val pack to wrap it all up, wrap this all up. Okay. We got a red creature card, the human shaman, the human shaman. Is it shaman or shaman? I think it's shaman. It was a shaman or shaman. I'm think, every, time I say, every time I say the word shaman, I think in the Pokemon. I think in the Pokemon, the adorable Pokemon. Anyway, so red creature, Kessig, flame breather. We got a blue creature, steel clad spirit. We got a white enchantment card, nurturing presence. We got a green creature card called Moldgraft Millipede. And dudes, it's kind of gross, right? We got an enchantment card. It's black. We got a black enchantment card. Get the fangs. Green creature card. The flourishing hunter. We got a. I think it's yeah, it's black. It's a black creature card called Diagraph Scavenger. We got a red creature card called Daybreak Daybreak Combatants. White creature card called Kindly Ancestors. Dude, I just let you in. All right, we got a hybrid. We got a hybrid card for both for blue and for blue for blue and black. It's a gold one. It's a skull scab. Got another hybrid, another gold hybrid for green and blue. Vile Spawn Spiker. We got a blue creature called Gutter Skulker. And oh, it's a double! It's a double. Because on the back, it's also it could be an enchantment. Enchantment be as enchantment known as a gutter shortcut. We got a blue sorcery card known as Inspired Idea. We got a a basic black card for the the swamp. Basic white card, and um, we got a hollow. We we got a hollow instant blue card, winged portent. Oh, cool. I like actually going to the computer to play online. Go! All right, and that's about it. Thank you guys for so much for watching. Be sure, to, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for any future card unboxing videos. And yes, I'm still doing also keep an eye out for my new comic book collecting collecting series which I'm gonna which is called Comic Hunt. Which is which I'm calling Comic Hunt. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time, Phantom Forcer out.